I'm going to show you how to create Canva frames using Canva and PowerPoint, which means we're going to take an image from Canva. Let's say we're going to use this one and turn it into something like this, that then you can put any image or video by drag and drop like we just did. We put a video inside of this image. We'll be using Canva and PowerPoint. Whether you have a Mac or a PC, you'll be able to follow along. Now, notice that I will be using um, a Mac for this tutorial, but all the steps are the same and the software looks pretty much the same whether you're using Mac or PC, so that should not be an issue. One thing that you should keep in mind is that you need to be using the actual PowerPoint app and not the Microsoft 365. Make sure you are downloading PowerPoint to your computer and that is what you are actually using to create this. This is video number three in a series. There will be links in the description box for the other two previous videos where I show you how to create Canva frame using different software. Also make sure to subscribe so you can follow along in this series and learn how to use other software and other methods to create Canva frames. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. If you have been following along in this series, you'll recognize what I'm going to say now because I talked about this on video number one. I went to Elements and searched for a woman, but also I filtered by free. I only want the free elements because one thing that Canva will do is it doesn't let you export any pro elements that are by themselves. So what you want to do is filter by free and select any other images. For this example, I selected this one, which is an isolated image and exactly what I need. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on share, download, make sure to download as an SVG, transparent background, and then go ahead and download it to your computer. Now we're going to move on to PowerPoint. I have a slide here that is 10 inches by 10 inches. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and find my file on my computer. Here it is. So I'm going to select it and drag it in. Perfect. Now at the top, make sure you are on the tab that is called graphics format. I'm going to make sure to click on that. Then I'm going to go to where it says convert shape and I'm going to click on that. Now you'll see that the image, it's gonna kind of break up in different little pieces. That is totally fine. After this, what you want to do is to make sure you are on shape format, then go to merge shapes, click where it says union. And now we have one unified image. Don't worry that the colors have changed. Um, this is exactly what we need. Now you can manipulate it and do many, many things. Remember, it is an SVG, not a PNG. So you can change um, the shape of it and the size of as you wish. So all that it's left now is the, in the same tab shape format. We're going to go where it says shape fill and we want a picture fill. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to my downloads folder. This image is the one that I want to use. So I'm going to click on my image, click insert, and it'll place that image inside my SVG. This is a very important step. Do not skip this. Now, all that it's left to do is export. You are actually done. So I'm going to save this as one, two, three, four, and make sure to save it as a PDF. Very, very important. Go ahead and click save. Now let's go ahead and go to Canva, to the main um, page in Canva. Find your PDF that we just created. I'm going to go ahead and drop it. It takes three or four seconds to upload. Go ahead and click on that. And now let's go ahead and click on it. Right click, click on detach image, delete the image, and there you go. You have your own Canva frame. To test if this actually worked out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some videos in there. There you go. It worked perfectly. That looks really pretty. And we are testing that it actually did work and we're done.